We're still trying to improve, you know, with small things, spring the court, every um, possession, offensive, defensively, you know, rebounding, challenging our guards to continue to rebound, um, making shots, you know, getting everyone to feel, um, you know, just capitalizing the transition, you know, understanding that maybe it's sometimes that we have to improve in the half court offense. So in reverse of that, we need to understand that we do really well in transition and also you know, making free throw shots. We're one of the top, you know, in the country that's making free throws. So, you know, just improving every game, just stacking, you know, uh, things that we've been working on in practice into the games. I think the fans, well, I, from what you read and everything, they're tired of the tune-up games. Yeah. How about you guys? Are you like, you know, right or tuned up? Yeah, no, for sure. But, you know, looking at how challenging our schedule was last year pretty early, you know, some of these games are very necessary. So, I mean, I, I think that Coach Cal and the staff and everyone took, you know, the right measures to make our schedule the way that it was because, I mean, the SEC is, is not a pushover. It's going to be challenging enough. So, us and, you know, you fans, you will have really great games this upcoming uh, winter. Okay, yeah, usually maturity and experience translate to success on the road. Do you think this is going to be a good road team? Uh, a good what team? The road, oh, off road yeah. team. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Notre Dame has a you know a great you know home you know arena, and they're gonna they're gonna come at us. Um, and the fact that you know we have such a, a a young core that's gonna come in and you know be challenged by that. You know, what our three freshmen they have, it. and then also the year that we had last year, we didn't get a road game. So for us to be able to go to Notre Dame and you know the history that they have, and also the way that they you know, kind of manhandled us coming into the uh, season last year. This, this would be good for us, for sure. Going back to being out on the road compared to a neutral site, the Duke game was the first of the year. You're excited. But to go into a place like the Joy Center that has maybe 7,500 people, but right. they are right on top of you, how loud can that get when they're lathered up, ready to go? Yeah, I mean, that, could, that, that can get really loud. And like you said, I mean, we still had a lot of support out there in New York, so it was definitely a neutral side. Um, but, you know, I, the only thing that I can probably compare playing to a small arena like Gonzaga, like I haven't really played that I can remember off the top of my head. I know that can get like really loud. You know, a lot of people packed into one small spot. That, could, that 7,500 could feel like, you know, 10, 12, you know, 15,000. So you just, it's, it's a fun environment to be in, honestly, so I'm looking forward to it. With the tune-up games, as we now referring to all of them, uh, do you think it was kind of, to, to fall behind nine to two, you had been played in eight days and against a team that, on paper, you're supposed to beat, is it difficult to get up for some of those games? And, and is Cal right when he says, we gotta bring the fight, we gotta do this early? Yeah, no, absolutely. I know, um, no disrespect to Southern, like they they came out really well, um, and that that HBC school uh, HBCU school was very talented, well coached, and um, you know they had some guys that get uh, get after it. I know uh, number five did really well, and then their shooters number twenty two, like they they came to play. But for us to be off like that, and then for us to finally have our full team back together, uh, going into it, we kind of knew, you know, that we have to. You know, make some adjustments and get a feel for each other once again. But um, you know, it, it's good that we pulled through. I mean, there, there's two ways. You know, the game could end in a win or a loss, and we got the win. So that's you know, it was more important to us. How is this team's three-point defense? You think last year Notre Dame, if memory serves, shot a lot of threes and hit, you know, hit quite a few of them. What yeah. have you seen out of your all's three-point defense? Uh, it has improved, especially since Miles College. I think that was the waking up point for us. You know how they came in. I know from. Uh, you know, that practice, I think it was uh, October 31st, we've kind of been improving since then, you know, so for us, um, we're just, we're, we're just trying to continue to keep, you know, getting better. I know, like you said, Notre Dame is taking a lot of shots. They aren't hesitant. Uh, watching a film versus Boston College, uh, they were getting up a lot of shots. They didn't make many, but they were getting up a lot and not hesitant at all. So that's going to definitely be a key point for us to focus on in this game, for sure. Dago, is there anything that you specifically recall taking away from last year's game against Notre Dame that you're kind of bringing in with you for this Saturday? Yeah, um, you know, just 
that feeling of, you know, getting down really early, you know, having a 22 point deficit and then, you know, that was honestly like the first time I remember from the fan base and also, you know, us feeling like that was our first time really coming together as a team. And then for, you know, Olivier to take that last shot on the right side of the goal on the baseline and for him to miss it, I remember like how devastated he was about that. So. I mean, you try to move on, but that's things that you still think about. And then I remember, you know, Terrence running up to him, you know, patting his head like it was, you know, it was already right, get the next one. That was the first time we were like collected. And, um, you know, that's going to be something that, you know, we're going to remember and we're going to, you know, go in there and try to handle our business for sure.